We are back. Yes. Today we have a few more things that we need to do. Yeah, there's still some dips in the plaster, even though we put a lot on yesterday. Now that it's dried and we can step back, still a few spots to fill in, especially up around the, uh, we'll mm -hmm. call it the, the nipple. Um, that really needs to be like evened out and we need a nice point at the top of it. Your hands and talking about. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we need to fill in up around the top and then we gotta finish the buttresses. Yep, I'll work on buttresses, you get on top. Oh. Butts and boobs. <laughs> Babe, just covered up some barbed wire over here on the buttress. I should have said it was a booby trap. <laughs> Did you record that? <laughs> This is looking really good. It's getting there. Yeah? My hands are freezing because I'm like in the shade. I know. Outside. It's really cold over here. North side of the building. Yeah. I mean, you're like almost done yeah. with the buttress here. I was going to see if you could try to do the top sections because uh -huh. there's not a stool. You might have to get the scaffolding over on that side. Yeah. So the other thing I need to work on is I'm getting... We got the top here pretty good. Like it's got a nice uh, arch and a point on the top, but you can see from this angle, the front of the building, let's see if I can do this with my hand. The front of the building needs just a little more curve going up. Like, <laughs> I can't do it. Going like that. Yeah, you know what I mean. You see it, it's not right. But if you keep going around, it's looking pretty good from most of the other angles. I think it's just where we did that form over the arch. The bags didn't come out quite as much and there's not as much of a natural bump in it. So I've already put a bunch of material on there. I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit before I go try to add more because I just don't want a bunch of cracking, especially up on the top where water might come in when it rains. interrupting this video to show you our homies. Our homies? Yeah, these are the names that are scrolling 
on the screen. These are some of the people who help support us every month. Yeah, we could not do this channel without them. And so we just always want to take a minute and show their names and say thank you so much. Uh, homies get access to videos early. Mm -hmm. They also get special weekend updates. Mm -hmm. They get access to your recipe book. Mm -hmm. uh, and then certain levels get other special things like stickers and your names in the credits and all sorts of stuff like that. So listen, if you want to be a homie, I mean, 2024, it's a new year. Yeah, this could be the year <laughs> that um, you decide to get shiny. Tiny shiny. Okay, guys, that's enough for that. Thank you, homies. Now, let's get back to the dome and see what we can get finished. closer than we were. Oh, we're so close, but yeah. you know what? We're out of sand. We ran out of, what is it, concrete sand? Mm -hmm. Coarse concrete sand has been the magic mixing with our Portland cement that mix came from Hayden. And we're really liking, I mean, it's hardly cracking at all. It's going on really good, but we're out. Yep. So I need about an, another half ton. Mm -hmm. And I think that'll get us to where we can make that arch at the very top exactly how we want it. Yeah. It depends on how you're looking at it and from what angle because some areas look really nice and some are like flat. So you have like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's And I've put a lot of material up there to even it out. And like like you said, it's, it's good about 75% of the angles you look at. But yeah. there's still a couple angles where it's a little goofy and... Did we finish the buttresses? Almost. There's Almost. just a few little spots that I need to fix, but yeah, we're yeah. out of sand, so. Well, guess what, guys? You're going to get another day of video in this video because we're not done yet. Yep. So much video. Okay. Well, we'll be back and we're going to get this finished. We're going to do it. Yeah. I promise. Then we got to do it all over again. With Let's not talk guy. about it. <laughs> Let's talk. That'll be a We won't talk about that. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're almost done. <laughs> Hang on. So we're back out of the dome and last night I woke up in the middle of the night and I couldn't stop thinking about how we're getting close to finishing the plaster work on the outside of the dome, but we still haven't installed our little fireplace in this mini dome. And I can't install the fireplace in the mini dome until we plaster inside there and get that finished and get the floor finished in the little mini dome. So. Today I'm going to be working on plastering the inside and seeing if we can get enough coats on over the next couple of days to where we can install our floor and then install the fireplace. If any of you are considering building a little tiny area for a wood stove or something else, consider plastering it as you build it because this is incredibly hard to get to. It comes up like this. It's a very tiny area. So I think I'm gonna save this for Adelaide to do. We're back. We're... We're back for another day on the dome. We gotta get to stucco because we only have a couple of days. Like we said, the weather, we have a very small window. So today is all about finishing up everything we need to do before we can stucco. Right, we decided after Jonathan was climbing up there that we need to add 
another step here. Yeah, it's too hard to reach that first rebar. Um, so, and also we probably need to put handholds on. Our area at the top, we added a ton of material up there to kind of even out that whole thing up there. Still need to add a little bit more, I think. And I'm gonna need some help eyeballing that because yeah. it's hard to tell when you're up there. But I think other than that, like we're pretty much done with the exterior. Like at the very top, there's just a very slight little dip too. Like right there? Yeah. This one, but I need it clear because they're different. Where's that other one? There's this. Yeah, that'll be. a love-hate relationship with these bottles. It's gonna be nice when it's done, but it's such a pain in the butt doing it. So we learned a very important lesson when we worked on our shower project that you need to wipe the bottles off as you go. Otherwise, you're gonna spend a whole day scraping them off and it's no fun. So just clean them as you go. Life will be a lot easier. All right, before
before we can do the last, we are going to use up this material that we have and chink these red bags as far as we can go. It's not a huge deal if we finish it because we can always do that with a stucco when we have the lath on, but might as well use up this material. Side is ready for glass. Which now, we've never done before. We've never done it on any of our buildings, but Hayden said it's required. I no, don't know. No, I've seen other dome <laughs> I've seen other domes that don't have it, but he said, you know, with the different um because it's a dome, the sun's hitting one side directly and then one side directly, so there's a lot of like it's gonna expand and contract yeah. opposite and it's gonna be and there's different materials and yeah. um yeah, I mean, you know, people have been putting lath behind stucco for a really long time, and there's a reason for that. Yeah. And so we're starting to try to pay more attention to some more traditional building methods and see how we can sort of integrate them into the natural building methods so that the outside actually doesn't break. Yeah, and it'll be good because we'll be able to compare, you know, our shed, which is half stucco and half cob, <laughs> and our bathroom, which is all stucco, yep. and then this with stucco and lath. Uh -huh. So it'd be, over the next few years, it'd be nice to see and compare and see what works. Yeah, so like we said, we've never done this before. Um, so I have no idea how this will go. It's gonna go great. Let's get this. It's gonna go great. Let's get started. So I've been watching a lot of um, videos of people who do a lot of stucco work and a lot of lath with their stucco work. And one thing I picked up is you can really tighten this lath without having a lot of screws. So yeah, you go ahead and put your screws there to where it holds it up, but then you can come back and just get in the middle, twist your little pliers, and it tightens up very nicely. Mm -hmm. 